I'm Jane Ross. We moved into this house in 1991. We had come to Westport during the summer and were looking for a house to buy. And uh, first walked into this room and I had been very reluctant even to look at the house. And I stepped in the front door and was really just bowled over by the living room. And uh, that was it. We spent some time negotiating until we managed finally to move in. I think it was three days before Christmas in 1991. So uh, this was actually the first schoolhouse built in Westport, I believe. It was built in 1812. Uh, it was because it was only a schoolhouse, it was constructed of recycled ships timbers. In fact, which you can see in the corners. As a schoolhouse, I guess it wasn't worth an investing in uh, newly milled. There's a photo in uh, the history of Westport uh, that showed the schoolhouse with a school teacher and I believe 37 students, if you counted them all, uh, which must have been a handful because there most of them were boys. So somebody observed that this must have been quite a lot to manage. Um, in any case, it continued to be used as a schoolhouse uh, until 1906, at which point the farmhouse next door was purchased by an artist named Ossip Linde. He was a painter, and he put in the big north-facing bay windows here and used the place as a studio to teach and to uh, show his paintings. I believe he sold them from here. Uh, we met his daughter who uh, told us that the uh, pool out back at the base of the huge rock outcropping, which we can take a quick look at, was she believed the first swimming pool in Westport. It's no longer used as a swimming pool, but she says she learned to swim. Yeah. See, we have kind of an eclectic mix of things, including the big Frank Stella here. There are, there's another small drawing across the room, and there are several of his pieces in the dining room. Um, his wife is um, my oldest friend. <laughs> we have continued to find objects over the years that date from the time this was used as a schoolhouse. And these bottles are an example. We have a, somewhere a lot of uh, small uh, glass bottles that were used for ink, clearly. This was the other room I loved best about the house because it looks out uh, this from the second story here, uh, since we're built up against a rock. And uh, so you get a good view out over the hillside and then over the rock outcropping that is really a uh, such a joy to see at any time of year. Um, and if you move over this way a little, you'll be able to see where this Margaret's swimming pool was as she described it to us. To see, it's, just, it's now just full of leaves. But that was once reportedly, as she described it, Westport's first swimming pool. I look forward to welcoming you on December 10th for the Holiday House Tour.